Ah, kiddies, you're going really, really well with your rings, so we're up to the next stage. So good on you, thank you for working so hard, and uh, we'll, I'll show you now the next step. So the next step, we're dealing with these little things here. We've got our ring blank to this stage, where it's, um, just back that off, where we've got our, our ring bent like that. This one goes that way, that curve goes that way. That's what forms this little feature when we roll it up. So the, importantly, this little thing here tapers towards a point here and that side towards a point here. And filing that can be a little bit tricky, okay? Filing that, getting it all cleaned up and then soldering the little chenille, the little silver tube, that's called a chenille. Soldering that in place are probably the hardest parts of the, um, this little ring here. So the filing, I just want you to pay attention and I'll explain uh, how we go about that. All right, we've got our wire here. The first thing we need to do is to mark out on there, I'm just gonna zoom and just a touch like that. We need to mark out where we're gonna file to. Otherwise, we're just filing blind, okay? We need to have some clear markings out and uh, that way we're not gonna stuff it up so much. So the first little thing is we just take a little bit of a mark, a little bit of a rounding of that corner there. We actually file, most of the filing is on this, round that portion just there. So we're going to remove what I'm colouring in here. That All that's going to get removed. Okay, so it's just a little bit of the inside curve and a lot more of that curve. So that when we, if I come back to the little ring here, they look like that. There's a lot more waste removed off this side and the other side's just a little round bit. So that's why we've got that um, like that. So I've marked it out. I'm going to mark out the other side with that and you guys can do this I don't have to do all this a little bit of a round there and a major the more major amount of uh, off our little edge there okay now you need to be able to see what you're doing when you file that so I'd encourage you to actually have this on a horizontal plane in other words flat while we file it so and I'm going to demonstrate that to you now so what we do, I'm going to just dem demonstrate it on my desk, on my jeweler's peg, but you guys can do it at your little benches, there's no problem with that. I'm just going to move the uh, camera, it might take a little bit of mucking around here. So I'm going to do mine, do my filing um, up on my peg here. So, oops, this little thing's called a jeweler's peg. You see me use it uh, all the time. Move that to there, and I need to just get comfortable. I need to get myself in a position where I'm comfortable to file because I don't want to be stuffing this up. Um, I'm going to have that there. I'll just zoom up a little bit. Whoops. Beautiful. So I'm just going to now file that edge off, off of that. What I'm actually going to do is mark out my marks on this side because I actually want the, the file, I want to do my filing um, I want to do my filing that way. So that's cool. Just remark that. Allow me to show you again. So we're just doing a little bit off here. Major amount off there and I'll just show you that filing there. Okay, I've got my file. I'm going to use the flat surface. This is a half round one side and a flat the other side, I'm using the flat surface there to file it round. So I'm just gonna just gonna file that. I'm rolling the file around so I don't get any flat little spots on there, little dodgy spots. Now, guys, you can't do this up in the air. You've got to have your your um, your work supported from underneath while you do this. Okay? I know what you guys are like. You're not just walking around the room, having a chat to your mates, filing it with no control. You've got to have it supported and beautiful. Look at that, tell your mother. Okay, that's coming along really, really nicely. Just check my, um, check my marking on that side's pretty good too. So I'm just going to take off now my um, the little round edge. A bit awkward. I'll just do it like that. Okay, so that now is not a sharp... It's it's tapered, so it's thinner, but we don't want a sharp point because it's going to just jab into you. Now, having done that, while we're at this position, I'm just going to sand that with a lapstick. Now, this is just a, this is just a number 400 stick thing here. So I'm going to sand that like that. 
It's really important to do this now because you won't be able to get into that spot after this little bit of chenille is soldered into it. You won't be able to get in there. Have a look at your work. You need to take pride in your work. Rolling it round. It's like a thing of beauty. Just going to take those texture marks off. Gorgeous. Look at that. Got a lovely shape, a nice round shape. It's got no flat spots, it's not too pointy. It's, uh, it's all G, as they say. All right, other side. Okay, do my little bit of marking. Want more off this side. A little tiny bit off that side. And uh, I'm good to go. Back to the old file. Don't rush this. Don't try and do two quicker file strokes. Nice and slow, one stroke a second is uh, like a good ballpark figure to aim for. Look at that, tell you, mother. Thing of beauty. Just like your teacher. What an absolute stunner he is. Gorgeous. Okay, a little bit off the point. Oh, look at that. Okie dokie, let's have a bit of a look see, look that side, look that side, gorgeous, go to my lapstick. Awesome, get rid of that black texture mark there, or brown it was, look at that. Okay, we want a little final check up now, let's see if they're both. Both pretty much symmetrical. There's a little trick I'm going to show you. All right, back to the black. I'm just going to move the camera. Where are we? There he is. Just back off a little bit. Look at that, tell you, mother. Beautiful. Now, get my contrasty pen. I'm going to go for yellow. I'm just going to show you a little bit of a check to see how whether I've got a nice symmetrical shape, whether I've filed it symmetrically, so I'm just going to put this here. So a nice line like that. Gorgeous that is. And take that off. And pop this one and see if it's... Whoa, whoa, baby. Outstanding. Look at that. Tell your mother. Beautiful. Okay. Now. That's it for this video. What I'm going to do now is I have not softened this yet. I'm going to anneal this. Because the second little video is how we press it around to uh, and hammer it so that it's actually in a, a round, nice round shape. Uh, and then the third one will be how to solder a little bit of chenille in. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.